Hey there, McCall's here with another tutorial for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. This time I'm just going to show you a quick one on how to add on and install modules, how to learn more about them, and then how to interact with them once they're installed. So it's pretty simple. You go to add on modules and you'll see it's empty. Well, let's install one. You'll see all sorts of ones pop up here once you let it load, and you'll see what they're for. PF2E is obviously Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and you're looking for, for me at least, D&D 5e. If you want to, you can find different ones, content packs, dice rolling, content importers, whatever you want. Typically, I'll find myself looking around the visual effects area, the combat enhancement area. So once you find something you do like, let's just say, here it is, build a bonus. Let's find out what it is. Build a bonus will automatically calculate when you perform attack damage. Cool. So let's say we like this idea and we want to go in here and use it. So we'll go ahead and say we want build a bonus. So I'll hit install right here and boom, it's installed. So if I go into my game world and let's say I want to play in dungeons and see it, joining us the game master, we will find that if I go click on somebody, build bonus may not be easy to find. Well, let's say I'm confused and I don't know where or why, or I just downloaded one. I don't know why it's not showing up. I can go in here and do manage modules. There it is, build a bonus. Save module settings. This will require the server to reload for it to connect. So if you have any players in, some of them will kick them from the game. But now you can go to configure settings and here we go, display label. The label will be at the header. Cool, let's go ahead and do that. And then custom script, uh, I'll leave it as, we'll save that. So now when I go to cross here, I can click on half work. And let's say we want to edit this or delete it on accident. We can say go to savage attacks, this here, and there's build a bonus. And now I can go through here and adjust this as the module allows, and you'll see different things here, attack types, creature types, available filters, all that fun stuff. And you can go through here and see why things aren't available or however, but that's how you install a module, get it in your game and get it working quick. Uh, one I really recommend is pop-up. So if you were using the browser to play the game, it'll allow you to pop out your like character sheets and whatnot on another screen, which is very helpful. If you play in the client, it won't allow you to do that, just so you know. So it's very useful for your players though, who maybe want to play the game on one screen and have their character sheet on their other next to their youtube video they're watching when they're bored however you want to do it but thank you all for watching i appreciate you and take care peace